I keep hearing a lot of people say that your teenage years or your adolescence is the best time of your life. You need to make sure to live through all the exciting experiences that society expects you to have before it's too late. I'm personally so scared of falling behind, so afraid to not match my expectations of what my adolescence should look like, to let myself down or make a wrong turn that would lead to me having to miss out on something new and thrilling. But is it ever too late to change things? Is there a point where life becomes irreversible? What if I just don't feel like going out today? Or what if I want to take a soul trip somewhere? No socializing, no friends to come along. What if I want to spend a day lying in my bed watching my favorite TV show? Or how about I just sit down on the lawn and people watch? These things are generally considered a waste of time, especially during the peak of your life, as they say. But is there such thing as waste of time? Is there a certain set of milestones that you're expected to follow throughout the course of your life? Nowadays there is a lot of pressure that young people have to deal with, especially when coming to university. There are a lot of societal expectations of the things that you need to do to succeed. Travel, party, make friends, do everything at once. But how do we deal with this pressure? We're going to ask some young people if they feel pressure to make the most out of their time. And we are also going to interview some elderly people to get some wisdom from them, how to combat this pressure. How do you feel about the idea of having milestones in your life? For instance, you need to do certain things by the end of your 20s, your 30s, your 40s. Well, I think that having milestones is always good because it gives you something to, you know, aspire to. The, the only thing about it is that it can sometimes put a bit of pressure. You know, if you have a plan for 10, 20 years time and you feel like you're not on the route to achieve it, it can be kind of daunting. But at the same time, it's kind of, if you don't have a milestone or something that you want to achieve, what's the point? You may as well not do anything. Have you ever felt like you're falling behind and having certain experiences that other people you're surrounded by seem to be having? Yeah, I mean, I don't so much feel that now because I'm a bit older, but when I was certainly in my first year of uni, I was at the University of Oxford and so I was living in a college environment. But the way my college kind of divided the accommodation was most people were in two different buildings, but then there was one corridor of about 10 of us that was kind of isolated from everybody else, which actually wasn't so great because it felt like everyone else was really getting to know each other, but we were this kind of just small group of people who kind of missed out on even things just like pre's before going out. By the end, I did manage to make really, really good friends beyond that. But at the beginning, it felt quite daunting that like I was in this new environment. I'd moved all the way from Australia and I wasn't fully able to meet everybody that I wanted to. A lot of it t takes kind of, you just have to kind of be confident and put yourself out there as hard as it might feel. It's very normal to feel like, especially when you're younger, that and you're in a new environment, that you might not be able to keep up with everybody else or you feel like you may not ever be able to, how could you possibly learn all these people's names? But in the end, like, it's fine. <laughs> After interviewing young people, I began to notice a negative turn this video was taking. 
the students tended to feel pessimistic about their first year experience and mentioned how it was a high pressure environment. I think the bigger pressure is more on like career progression. The idea of constant competition is always there and it's always a pressure. It's not always very healthy. However, looking at it from a more optimistic side, the societal expectations to succeed can really push you out of your comfort zone, which in a way would eventually prompt you to find yourself through the cycle of trial and error. But I think with most pressure, it's always whether you can hack it, how you, how you think about it. And I think um, so far this pressure has pushed me to like take, take part in more competitions, read more widely, uh, do internships. I think that's a good pressure. I think it's been very good at like opening my horizons and or broadening my horizons and opening my eyes to the rest of the world. Yeah. Do you have any regrets from when you were young? <laughs> um, for sure, yeah, of course, of course. I, I turned down a brilliant opportunity just through my own stupidity, really. I just, it was, um, I'd written to a, a DJ who I used to listen to on the radio, and I loved this DJ, and I would listen to his whole show every single week. And you could write in, because he played tons of different music, music you never heard anywhere else. So like movies from all over the world, different kind of music. You could write in and he would send you the playlist. And I did this quite often. Sometimes I'd like, if I, if I, sometimes I'd jot it down if I was listening, but sometimes you wouldn't catch it all, or what was that name? He'd send the playlist and it really, really influenced my music taste. And then one day he um, sent the playlist and he sent me some free records. Nice. And he said, um, if you ever want to come in and help out yeah. in the studio, you know, I can use some volunteers. And I thought about this and I was like, oh my God, that would be so amazing. Yeah. But the show went out on like a Saturday night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like 17 or something. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, every Saturday night, I want to go out. So it was just moronic, and it was. I, I lived in Essex, and it would have to be yeah. coming into London, and and so I just said no. And I remember telling my parents about this, and they went, "Oh, it's up to you." And I think now, if one of my kids said that to me, I go, "Oh my God, don't be mad! Of course you must do that." But I didn't do that, and maybe I could have worked in radio or yeah. something. I was really surprised to hear someone speak about regret. I feel like in our society we don't give this topic enough credit, which consequently creates this unrealistic image that no matter what decisions you make, it's all going to work out in the best way possible in the end. In reality, we might reject certain opportunities that come our way just because it feels terrifying to step out of our comfort zone. It feels so scary to sacrifice your time without knowing exactly if you can eventually succeed or not. And it's kind of strange how all of us value our precious time, try to make the best out of it and constantly save it up for something bigger and better that might one day arrive at our doorsteps. But what if the opportunity is already right in front of you? Just Open your eyes and see. Do you feel right now that there were certain experiences that you missed out on? No, I didn't actually, and I'll, and I'll tell you why. Um, I left home when I was 17 because there were a lot of experiences that I wanted to have that weren't available to me in the very small town I grew up in. I also did not have any expectations of who I was supposed to grow up to be, unlike the rest of my family who were politicians. I didn't want to go into politics. I wanted to be able to say what I wanted to say. So I would say that in trying to decide what you want, where you want to go when you're a teenager, follow the things that interest you because that's what's going to define you. Don't take find a role that you think that you can fill and start trying to fill it because you'll lose your way. Yeah. No one else's definition of success is going to be right for you. You'll know when you're you'll know when you're pursuing the things that really matter to you because you get up every morning excited about pursuing them.
how do you feel about the situation when a young person just goes out, has fun, does nothing? Like, do you feel it's wise? Or do you feel like there should be a certain balance between trying to find yourself and just going out with your friends? Okay, I'll take a lot of grief of this from people my age. It's like, go out and investigate what you want to investigate. Mm -hmm. What people are beginning to see, and I'm saying this through my line of work, is that not everyone is ready to go into university immediately. And if they do, they'll just spend four years in a holding pool, come out with no clear expectation of what it is that they want to do with it, and a lot of debt that has to be paid. Then your life really is no longer your own. Take a gap year. This is this is unheard of in the states. People are like, if if my child doesn't go to the university immediately, they'll never go to college. It's like, yes, they will. If they find something they want to do that requires a college education, they'll get one. here was the worst decision I've ever made in my entire life. Look at my hands, they're all green. I think, I don't know what that is. It smells not nice, but a bagel with mushrooms. I don't really like mushrooms, why have I done that? It's been almost a day since I interviewed those people. And looking back on it, I feel like it was one of the life-changing experiences that I had. And I know that sounds a bit weird because this is just interviewing people, like what the hell does it matter? But it was a big deal for me because I'm not a very social person. And when I did that, I felt so confident and I also felt like it was so interesting to just speak to strangers and especially learn some wisdom from them. I think it was a really great insight that success is subjective. What society tells us success is, it really isn't. It depends on you as a person. Making a lot of money, traveling, or having a lifetime partner is success for some people. But for some other people, just being able to afford one room apartment is success, you know? So it differs. And it's a simple idea, I know, but I feel like we often forget about it. And we often tend to do the things that the society expects us to do. We often tend to hustle, make more money, but we forget about simple things. Like, you wanna go out today, but you can't really do that because you think that you need to work more. Just go out, do something that you wanna do, even if that seems like a waste of time, because I think that in the end, there is no such thing as a waste of time. If you feel like doing it, then it means that you need to do it because it will lead you to something, it will generate some result, it will give you some experience because I think that what you feel like doing, you have this feeling for a reason, almost. So yeah, fuck this. It's not the right exposure. No? It's plus 0.7. But it's such a good shot. Tell us your recipe. No? No, it's too complicated. Really? Wow, you're in such a good mood today.